Okay. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. March 16, 2022 na po. At um, more than half na tayo sa ating uh, buwan. Ito po ang the stock market today. If this is your first time in this channel, ako po si Benji Chadoro, isang retired bank officer na nagsimula mag-invest sa Philippine stock market noong 2007. And uh, ginagawa ko po ito araw-araw. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Kung meron po kayong stocks na gustong ipa-review, pakicomment lang po sa comment box at acting ipa-prioritize. By the way, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say in this channel should not be construed as financial advice. Ang ating financial news ay tungkol sa PLDT at ang Ayala Corporation at ang resulta ng trading ngayong araw, March 16, 2022, dito lamang sa the stock market today. So, ang ating headlines ay nanggaling po sa BDO Securities, Metro Manila and 47 other areas to remain under, under alert level 1 until March 31. Secretary Carl Chua says the Philippines is still on track to reach GDP target this year. GDP means gross domestic product. Tell says fixed broadband still underpenetrated. Ito po yung ating main news today. Kasama po si Ayala Corporation. SB Finance eyes 40% growth in lending portfolio. And PAL eyes last mile deliveries. Let's go first to Ayala Corporation. No? And this is a study of uh, BDO Securities. Recently, nagpalabas po siya ng kanyang financial statements. And based on the this re-evaluation of the value of the company merong report po siya to reiterate the buy recommendation as sell, sell off widens upside Ayala Corp po ito no? then uh, share price weakness is an opportunity to accumulate yung previous target price po niya is 1,190 pesos it was now increased to 1,230 or an implied upside of about 55, 50 to 55%. Yan po. Ang Ayala Corporation based on the closing price of 789 last Friday. Okay. Then our next business news is on PLDT from the business world. PLDT Home says market still underpenetrated at around 20%. PLDT on Tuesday said its home business, which offers fixed broadband services to residential customers, is aiming to reach more areas in the Visayas and Mindanao, as overall market is still underpenetrated at around 20%. The group is anticipating PLDT Home to grow its revenues at an accelerated pace as it's as it adds more fiber customers, with the market still underpenetrated at approximately 20% compared with the 50% penetration in the Asian region. PLDT and Smart Communications President and CEO Alfred Panlillo said in an email statement. Mr. Panlillo expects PLDT home business to continue its strong performance given the light and demand as well as our improved service metrics and the upcoming conclusion of our copper migration campaign. PLDT Home it said it registered 1.13 million new fiber subscribers last year up from its target of 1 million new subscribers. PLDT now has 3 million fixed broadband customers. Okay, so nyan po ang ating business news. And before we proceed with our PSE index, let me check first. Uh, meron pong comment dito si Oscar Villaflor. Sir, with all due respect, I think SEC is not anymore an index stock. Tama po kayo. I stand corrected to that. Kasi po based dito sa PSE, 
kung titignan po natin ang market uh, composition and information, ang composition po ng index ay wala po si SCC. I think napalitan na po siya ni Emperador and Converge, you know? Yun po. So, thank you po for pointing that out. So, ito po yung 30 index stocks, no? Ayala, AC Energy, Aboitis, Allianz, Ayala Land, AP, BDO, BPI, Converge, Emperador, Globe, GT, Inter ICT, Jollibee, JG Summit, LT, Metrobank, Mega, Meralco, Monde, Metro Pacific, Pure Gold, Robinson, Security Bank, San Miguel, PLDT, SM Prime, Universal, Rubina, and Wilcon. Yan po yung 30. Wala po si SEC. Tama po kayo. Okay? So, uh, let's now go to the Philippine Stock Exchange and the Philippine Stock Exchange Index on how it performed today. Sana po ay magandang balita. Merong uh, gain si PSC ngayon, no? Although almost flat, I gain pa rin siya. 6.53 points or 0.09%. So, ang index ay nasa 70.26.25. A slightly, a slight increase, ano, from the previous close. But uh, our closing price is still below our indicators. So, yung ating RSI, bearish pa rin at 43 at uh, nagko-cross over na po sa taas, ano? Kailangan po kasi ay makita natin yung ating price or yung index higher than our indicators which would mean na uh, nagta-turn bullish na siya. Sa ngayon po ay mayroon pang bearish sentiment ang PSE. Okay? And before I continue, may I just... Um, Read some comments here. Cats Big Water commented, Thank you, Sir Bench. Thank you rin po. Oscar Villaflor. Okay, nasabi ko na po to. George Kwang says, Sir, review po ang Meralco at AP. Thanks again. Sige po, gagawin po natin yan. So, yung ating market activity, 119 companies gained, 59 declined, while 55 remained unchanged. The All Share Index also moved up 0.53%. Now, the holding companies, industrials, mining, and services are up, led by mining at 2.21%. However, the financials and properties are down. So, yung pinaka most active stocks ay titignan po natin ngayon. At reviewin po natin yung kay George Kuang muna, AP and Meralco, no? And siguro sa most active stocks, tignan po natin si Tel, Converge, URC, at si Ayala Corporation, yung ating featured uh, stock. So si Tel nandiyan na po. Okay, so let's start with Mer, Meralco. Oh, in bounce si Meralco, ha? From a re red engulfing here on March 14 ay tumaas po siya ngayon ng 20 pesos or 5.56%. Yan, meron po siyang dividends dito at 10.226 to be given on April 26. So, patuloy pa rin po siyang tumataas and yung ating support, lagay po natin dito sa area ng to. Yan po ang pinaka-support ni Meralco, nasa 350, while the resistance would be at 380. Support area na po ito, itong um, closing price. No? Ang um, support and resistance po ay hindi po exact points. These are areas. So, maganda po, no? Plus, may dividends pa rin si Meralco, plus may meron siyang capital appreciation. Then, after that is AP. Avoid this power. Yan. Mag magkaroon siya ng bounce. Although it appears na yung ating 50-day exponential and the 20-day are piercing through, meaning moving sideways. Pero from a red candlestick last Friday, I meron pong green candlestick with a gain of 1 peso 30 centavos to end at 34.30. So, Sa tingin ko po ay still sideways po ang, ang movement niya 
although this is a definite bounce at yung RSI is neutral a bit bearish at 48 kasi po yung ating 20 day exponential nasa taas po ng candlestick ilagay po natin ang support sa MO100 nandito po siya sa 32.42 resistance is somewhere here at 36 31 then tell si tell naman ay naku nagkaroon siya ng gain ha kasi nasa 740 1740 at one point bumaba siya ng 1683 ang gandang bumili nito at laruin sana anyway ang pinaka support po niya lagay po natin sa M100 ano pero i think yes tama po M100 po ang ating support level uh, kunin natin sa 1750 1747 to 1750 po yung pinaka support ni tell resistance is here at uh, 1916 to 1917 so that's tell then converge si converge ay wait lang natin ang internet medyo mabagal lang po Okay, nag-bounce siya, no? Kasi bearish na po si Converge. Dati po ay moving sideways and now it's moving down. Pero meron siyang counting bounce at 1.77.73% up. Tingnan natin yung ating ano dito. What's the fundamentals? The vulnerable value of Converge is 40.50 or an 84% upside. So, ito siguro ang pinakamataas, no? Next to Metro Pacific is 94. Oh. 94.4 yung upside. Ayala Corporation ay 55 upside. So magaganda po yung undervalued po. No? Ang undervalued po na malaki ay Ayala Corporation at 55. Converge at 84%. Metro Pacific nasa 94%. Malaki ng undervalued nito. Vista Land is undervalued with an upside of almost 70%. 69 po yung nakalagay dito. Okay. So, yan po, no? So, yan po si Converge. At uh, dito po, I, I see a... Let's look at one week. The one week chart. Ito po yung pinaka-support ni Converge, you know? Nandito po, based on the one week chart, na sa 23.92 while the resistance of converge nasa 32 or dito po much lower nasa 29 23.70 ang support and 29 to 30 po ang resistance and then URC at isa pang undervalued stock ito yan nagkaroon siya ng bounce ulit here and here, although it uh, appears to be a weak candlestick, RSI is oversold at 16.28. Below 30 po, an oversold the po siya. Pero bearish pa po ang sentiment niya. At meron siyang dividends. To be given on April 29, that's 150. And the other one is, di ko makita. 150 and 195. So that's uh, about uh, 3. 3 pesos, huh? 380. Tama nga bang compute ko? 380. O 340, sorry. 345. Yan po ang um, cash dividend ni URC. So in the meantime, ay hanapin lang natin si, ng, ang, ang support ni URC. Ha? Now, based on the one-week chart, ang pinaka-support po niya, nandito po. Pwede po natin ilagay sa 106. 86. And area po yan, ano? area po yan, 106 to 107 po ang pinaka-support ni URC. And then finally, we have Ayala Corporation. Malik natin sa one day. Yan, nagkaroon ng bounce si Ayala. Ha? Maganda. Maganda ang bounce niya. Support is here at uh, 758. And resistance, pinakamalapit po ay nandito po sa area nito. Yan. 826.47 Okay? So, yan po si Ayala Corporation which ended at 815 and mind you, the 
target price or the value of the stock is 1230 which is about a 50% upside. Okay, yan po ang report natin sa stock market March 16, 2022. Ito po si Benji Chitoro nagpapaalala. Ang investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at hanggang sa muli. Stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.